a week after parents pressured an Alabama school board to change course on its diversity plan, alumni are pushing back. A June 30 petition, signed by more than 1,200 Mountain Brook Schools alumni, is urging school administration to rethink its disassociation from the Anti-Defamation League, which is a national organization that has been offering anti-racism and diversity-related resources to schools since the late 1980s. The split, the petition said, was done in order to appease an extremely vocal minority of community members. Earlier this month, about 600 parents and Mountain Brook residents signed a letter urging the school board to cut ties with the Anti-Defamation League, which it called a politically controversial organization. On June 22, the district announced that it would stop working with the organization, which had been providing anti-bias trainings to Mountain Brook educators after an anti-Semitic incident occurred last May. Read more. Mountain Brook backtracks on anti-bias training after parent criticism links to critical race theory The new petition is signed by a range of graduating classes that stretch as far back as 1939. It criticized the board's new in-house approach, charging that a district that had permitted racism and intolerance in its schools for decades is ill-equipped to handle those issues on its own. We strongly believe that outside organizations with expertise in anti-racism and anti-hate are essential for school systems to navigate these issues, and we affirm that for MBS, this work is long overdue," the petition said. In the petition, alumni also responded to criticism that the school should leave teaching about race and racism up to the parents. Alumni stated that the education they received was not neutral, and that the curriculum and culture of MBS intentionally or not, obscured historical facts about race and racism and avoided addressing racial discrimination as an ongoing reality. William Galloway, a spokesperson for Mountain Brook Schools, said the district is not providing comment at this time. Rebecca Griesbach reports on opportunity gaps for the Alabama Education Lab through a report for America Fellowship.